Hello everyone! Uh, this is round 7 of the Isle of Man uh, Open International Tournament and uh, Magnus Carlsen drew his game against Vidit Santos. Uh, Carlsen is still holding first place with uh, 6 points uh, and Vidit Santos uh, is sharing second place uh, with Emil Sotowski and um, Fabiano Caruana. And uh, Fabiano uh, got to this uh, five and a half points by defeating uh, British uh, Grandmaster and Chess Order, uh, Gwen Christopher Jones. And it's a pretty theoretical game. It was, uh, well, uh, most of it was home preparation, but it was not uh, without excitement. Uh, so let's see this uh, beautiful game played between these two uh, top players. Uh, Caruana is white and he plays e4. We have e5. Uh, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, so the real Lopez. Uh, we have a6, bishop to a4, uh, knight to f6, uh, Caruana castles, b5, bishop to b3, uh, bishop to b c5, uh, c3, d6, and now a4, uh, rook to b8, we have d4, uh, bishop to b6, and uh, here Caruana plays a5. And uh, Mr. Jones plays bishop to a7. Uh, but what's the idea here? Uh, why can't black capture this pawn on a5? Well, if knight captures on a5, you get... Uh, white has this option of playing rook captures on a5. And after bishop captures on a5, d captures on e5. Now attacking the knight. And, well, if, if you recapture the pawn with d captures on e5, you get queen captures on d8 with check. Uh, king captures and knight to e5. And this is, uh, well, where black's problems are. Uh, white's threat is knight to c6, attacking the rook on b8 and also the bishop on a5. And if uh, black prevents this with bishop to b7, you get knight to f7 with check. So the king has to move, uh, and you don't capture the rook immediately. Since your knight is protected on f7, and you don't want to allow black to grab this pawn on e4, so simply push a, uh, e5. Uh, knight has to move, knight e4, and now you capture the rook. And the rook captures knight, and for example bishop to e3 here. And it's a, a much more enjoyable p position for white. So, uh, Jones didn't want to go for this, and after a5 uh, he played bishop to a7. We have h3, not allowing any g4 ideas, and now uh, uh, Jones castles. We have bishop to e3, uh, rook back to a8. Probably with ideas that if Caruana goes d5, uh, that this c6 knight can move, so this bishop on a7 would be protected. Uh, rook to e1, uh, we have h6, knight bd2, uh, e captures on d4, c captures on d4, and knight to b4. And now we have e5. Uh, knight f to d5, uh, we have knight to, uh, knight to e4, uh, now knight captures on e3, rook captures on e3, and bishop to b7. And it seems, uh, well, Jones's bishops on a7 and b7 are very nicely placed, uh, both uh, eyeing that king side very nicely. Uh, but Caruana plays e6 now. And, well, you don't want to capture this e6 pawn, allowing bishop captures on e6. Uh, so instead he plays knight to d5 now, blocking this bishop's uh, protection of the pawn and also attacking this rook on e3. So Caruana first captures, uh, e captures on f7 with the check. Uh, we have king to h8. And now rook to e1, getting rook out of harm's way, and now rook captures on f7. And rook to c1, uh, rook to c8, now developing the rook and also adding protection to the c7 pawn. And, uh, well, uh, here Caruana plays knight f uh, to g5. And this is uh, why the title of the video is called uh, It Helps to Know uh, <laughs> That You're Winning. Uh, because uh, all the way to here, Caruana probably had all of this in his home preparation. And, uh, well, uh, the strongest move for black here is rook to e7. Uh, but uh, Mr. Jones played uh, rook to f5. And here, well, Carano knew that uh, he, he was winning here, but he didn't know the exact response to this rook to f5 idea. Uh, of course, you don't want to capture the knight with h captures on g5, uh, because queen to h5 check, king g8, and now knight captures on g5, threatening checkmate on h7. So, for example, g6, and now you get queen to h8, check. King captures, knight captures on f7 with check, uh, forking the king and queen. After the king moves, well, you lose the queen, and uh, white is up the exchange and uh, winning completely. So after this knight, to g, uh, knight f to g5 idea, we have rook to f5, and, uh, well, here we have knight to e6. A very nice idea. Attacking the queen, and after queen to d7, queen to g4. And uh, what are Jones' options here? Can you capture this knight here on e6? Well, if queen captures on e6, uh, you get knight to g3. 
and well this opens up the attack from this rook on e1 to the queen on e6 and also now there's a double attack on this rook on e5 from the knight and the queen so well you don't really have anything here to play as black you can play for example rook to e5 and now simply decaptures on e5 uh, well uh, a winning position for white and after queen to g4 uh, you don't capture uh, with queen captures on e6 for example maybe you want to play rook to f7 uh, adding more protection to this uh, g7 well uh, queen to g6 makes it uh, very hard uh, for black to play this game uh, for example a rook to f8 and now bishop to c2 and now there are all sorts of uh, well crazy ideas because after this knight on e4 moves queen to h7 check a uh, queen to h7 checkmate is coming so after something like uh, knight to e7 attacking the queen now you can capture uh, knight captures on f8 and after knight captures knight captures queen uh, rook captures knight uh, knight to g5 and well again it's very unpleasant to play this if h, h captures on g5 uh, bishop captures on g6 now threatening checkmate with rook to e8 and after you defend this rook to d8 you simply capture rook captures on c7 and the black loses a piece here so a very uncomfortable uncomfortable position for black after this queen to g4 move uh, so jones tried queen to f7 and now we have rook to f, uh, rook to c7 now attacking the queen uh, the rook is captured rook captures on c7 and now Karana doesn't capture the rook but he plays knight captures on d6 and uh, well black is holding on by a threat here uh, his queen is attacked on f7 his rook is attacked on f5 his other rook is attacked uh, here on c7 his bishop is attacked on b7 this uh, bishop is attacking the knight on d5 and also eyeing that queen on f7 this is a uh, well a very very unpleasant position for black to play so uh, jones plays the only probably active move he has he plays rook captures on f2 uh, but now he gets knight captures on c7 and well you can't really capture the knight with the knight because you lose the queen here on f7 and uh, well if you play queen captures on c7 uh, you get rook to e8 check king to h7 and now queen to e4 with check and after g6 well bishop captures on d5 and you don't want to recapture the bishop because after queen captures on d5 well this queen to g8 checkmate is uh, pretty much unstoppable so after for example queen captures on d6 you get uh, bishop to g8 check king to g7 and now queen captures here with check uh, king to f6 and uh, yeah f uh, h4 and uh, well uh, stopping queen to f7 checkmate is well something black uh, simply cannot do uh, well, he could play something like king f5, but now queen to e4 check, and after king to f6, rook check, captures the queen, and after the king moves, simply king captures rook on f2, uh, with queen to f7 checkmate to follow. So after knight to c7, capturing this rook, uh, Jones tried queen to f6, uh, we have knight to d5, capturing the knight, and now queen to d4. Uh, threatening discoveries when the rook moves uh, but of course queen captures on d4 is played uh, bishop captures on d4 now again threatening some discoveries uh, but Karo Anna, uh, finds a very nice refutation he plays rook to e4 and now there are there aren't really aren't any good discoveries when this rook moves uh, as this rook is also attacking the bishop now on d4 and uh, well mr jones has a problem he's a piece down uh, so uh, bishop to a7 is played and now Corona plays knight to b6 and in this position Mr. Wayne Christopher Jones resigned the game and uh, Caruana is after seven rounds in the Isle of Man international tournament uh, tied for second place with five and a half points uh, because you don't really have anything to play here if you go bishop captures on e4 simply king captures on f2 and you're down a whole piece and if you even try something like rook capture some b2 so now if uh, white captures bishop you capture his bishop on b3 uh, first you get rook e8 check and after king h7 bishop to g8 with check moving the bishop out of b3 and after king to g6 now capturing this bishop and well now white is up two pieces this is this is completely winning for white so after this knight to b6 move uh, Mr. Wayne Jones resigned the game and well it's a it's a very nice game especially for a Rui Lopez game so yeah that's the game I do hope you enjoyed it uh, as usual you can check two of my previous videos here uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon